you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over what you need to be doing before Series 2 commences. Now, if you guys don't already know, Series 2 starts, I believe, the 19th. It could be the 20th, but it is the 17th, September 17th, of course. So, that means that we are approximately two to three days out from when Series 2 officially drops. Now, if you guys don't know, Series updates are usually a big turning point in Madden. Series updates are some of the most fun things that happen in Madden. Because Series 2, pretty much, it starts a whole new wave of solo challenges. A whole new segment. It's like turning the chapter in a book. It's like you get all new solos. You get new power passes, which are huge. Who doesn't love a power pass? This Series 2 will probably offer you a 89 to 90 overall power pass, which will allow you to get most, if not all, of the Mutt, um, the Mutt Superstars, uh, most of the Legends, obviously the newer ones like Gale Sayers, the Mutt 10 Legends. Those guys will not be eligible for that. But if you do your daily challenges every day, you will eventually get even more power passes from that too. And obviously, the new series gives you more objectives. And what I love about brand new objectives is you get tons of coins trophies and so much more from objectives and obviously the first week of madden everyone knocked at their objectives that was it now it's been kind of stale because there hasn't been much to gain but series two just starts it's like it resets the grinding clock so with series two what we could we could be expecting another journey maybe the first gauntlet if you guys know what gauntlet is it's very cool objective based solo challenges that pretty much guarantee some kind of goal cool reward towards the end and some packs and i always love the gauntlet i don't know why they didn't start with it this year Maybe they're saving it for later so that things don't get dry too early. We also have plenty of other things, such as the Mud Heroes promo that will be coming out within Series 2. We will be getting the, the reset seasons objectives, which is good because if you already max out your multiplayer wins for all the trophies, you will be able to regain trophies. Series 2 does come with also a new Mud, um, what's it called? A Mud Series Master, let's call it, like the Von Miller. So we will be getting another free player. We'll probably be getting more unlockable John Madden collectibles. So the game just keeps progressing with every series update practically. We're also going to be getting the level up rewards. And if you guys know what level up rewards are, you're missing out. Level up rewards from 1 to 50 pretty much got you close to like 500 to a million coins. Depending on how many, how much of it you did and how lucky you were. Because obviously it comes with level up packs. 50 to 60 we can expect at least 3 to 4 level up packs that will guarantee you a platinum player in each level of pack that you do receive. And those platinum players will quick sell for a minimum of about 100k considering they will be about 84 to 85 overalls starting. So even if you don't want them you could also take a solid elite player. These are probably capped around 86 to 87 overalls which is pretty awesome. And we typically have a final max level master pack. Excuse me. Now that master pack last time was a full legend. Maybe this time will be a mud superstar. Maybe it'll be a kickoff player master, which would be very awesome. I'd really like that. Now, guys, before we get into the bulk of this video, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. That might be a low number to most, but for me being at, what was I? 2,000 2, subscribers and like a dead channel literally like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. We've come a long way in just about a month and a half. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you for letting me do this on a daily basis. And also, guys, make sure to go drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Turn on that noti bell, guys. And now let's get into this video. So, Series 2. With all these new level up packs, all these new coins, and this new master, you can expect multiple things. First off, whatever position the master is, it shouldn't affect the positional value of that card, such as Von Miller being outside linebacker, because people can't get it day one. Typically, you won't be able to get that player for at least a week minimum for the... the the common player won't get that card for about two to three weeks. The the grinder, the, the hardcore grinders might get it like in a week. And the hardcore like competitive players that get like three Super Bowls a day, they'll probably get it like in a few days. But it won't affect the market because in the, the frequency of how much they will get actually come out in daily basis, plus the fact that most people will probably take the nat one, it shouldn't affect the market too much in general. But that is something to look out for. What position will it be? I'm not entirely sure because this one was a left outside linebacker. So it could be anything. I mean, last year we got we got Justin Houston and Tevin Smith. So that was what? Two outside linebackers back to back. We also, oh, we got yeah, Justin Houston, Tevin Smith. I don't know if who's Houston was an M last year, an outside linebacker. But you get the point. It was two defensive players. I don't really know what this one will be, but I am excited for the level up grind. Obviously, for me as a content creator, I'm going to be trying to get from level 50 to 60 within like the first day or so, so that I can get you guys maximum level rewards, plus show you guys what you get so you have an understanding of how it's going to go. 
Also, you guys want to be on the lookout for objectives, like I said. I'll go over these right now. So if you go through the objectives for series progression, you're going to see a, a series 2 multiplayer win is going to be there. Whatever new solo sequence they release and the mutt level. So obviously those are very important. If you guys have not hit level 50 yet, I highly recommend you get that done before this starts. So you can be in line right for the great reward you'll be getting. Also, guys, we're getting to the point where mutt dedication is probably getting close to finish for you guys when it comes to mutt master. So a lot of people getting Pat Tillman that should start killing the market on a lot of strong safeties because he will be the best strong safety for quite a while. Now, with Series 2 coming also, you guys want to just be in touch with your team's value because this is going to be a weird week. So when Series 2 drops initially, typically players should go down in price just a little bit, but they're, I don't think they're going to because if you guys don't already know this, solo battles this week guarantees you double rewards. So, in theory, if you guys don't know what happened last time, solo battles guaranteed double rewards, people got like close to 400k and like tons of people got this amount of coins. So, there's typically an inflation in the market come the solo battle rewards. So, in my opinion, I think that next week on like Tuesday when we get weekend league rewards, solo battle rewards, like Monday, Tuesday when we get everything, plus series 2 drops, the market's going to probably be very, very high. So, that'd probably be the time to sell your team because I think it's going to be at an all-time high considering the fact that, let's see it's double this week so for legend i don't know if it shows it here but i'm pretty sure unless that is i don't think that's double i think it's going to show the double at the end of the week but i had i do know from twitter and from madden stream that it will be double this week so the market should inflate probably right after series two drops so for the time being i recommend you just start selling some players come monday and just start grinding levels in my opinion because think about it when the series first drops just no one's not many people are playing online people are going to get the solos done Mo most people right the competitive players are different but most people are going to get the solo challenges done. They're going to be grinding out the new objectives, the new mutt levels, grinding out how to level up fastest solo challenges and all that. So for the most part, people are going to be offline grinding, getting everything done. So for those days, do you really need most of your team? Probably not. I'd recommend Monday when the solo battles come out, when you see the market inflate like it should, you guys go sell your team, be ready to sell it all. And when you sell it all, you wait. You wait like another week or two for when Mutt Heroes or something drops and the market will crash again and you can buy everything back. So it's like the whole thing of like getting like a quarter on the dollar kind of thing or a dollar on the quarter, however that saying goes. Same thing. You're going to you're going to you're going to get back a few million coins for your teams or a few hundred thousand for your teams. And you can probably buy back a lot more than what you got rid of. It's like the bill check, the, the bill bill check effect. You get rid of nothing and you come back with a lot more. It's very simple, guys. But as a whole, right? Series 2 is the next chapter of Madden 20. It's going to come forth with Mutt Heroes, and I think it will probably go all the way through to about the October promo, and that is when Series 3 will kick off. But you guys want to be on top of that master, guys. Von Miller is one of the greatest defensive cards in the first month of Madden that we've ever had, and he's a free Nat player that you can get off the competitive currency. Also, if you guys don't already know, your trophies will be cut in half. So if you guys think that you're saving 2,000 trophies right now for the new, Mutt, the, the new Series Master, Theoretically, if you have 2,000 trophies, that will work because you do, they get cut in half. So when we go into Series 2, these are technically Series 1 trophies. So as we go into Series 2, they will be cut in half and you will be able to only get, keep half of them. So if you have 2,000, technically, yes, you'll be fine because this new master will probably be like 1,000 to 1,500 somewhere. I don't know if the price will remain, but you will have close to enough for it. Now, if you have like 1,000 trophies and you think you're going to be able to get it, you will not. It will be cut in half to 500. So if you haven't gotten Von Miller yet and you guys are just going to save it, maybe you should just get Von Miller because you're going to lose about 1,000 trophies. But like for me, I only have 100. So I'd rather not spend it. I'll just take my, my 50 that it's going to give me back and then I'll just be happy with that. I'm not really losing too much. And by the way, to all the guys who commented that I don't have coins, there you go. I literally told you I had stuff selling. When I make coin videos, obviously I have tons of coins. I just have it all invested in the team. But guys, just stay on top. You don't want to fall behind, right? That's always the worst thing. You have a full team that you have a full team, a new series and a new promo drops. They lose a lot of value. You sell them at their peak, peak low, like their lowest peak. And you end up getting a lot back on your return. Just if you just stay on top of like the, the cycle of how Madden goes and like the waves, you guys will kind of, you guys will be right on top. You guys are going to want to take advantage of everything that comes with series two. Like I said, remember first thing when series two drops, you guys want to start grinding your mutt level and doing those objectives. Those are the first two things you want to do. And coincidentally, if it does come out with a gauntlet or a new journey, I'd recommend grinding that while getting levels. Then when you're done with that, then you can go, I'll probably end up dropping a video on the fastest way to level up updated. And you can probably just follow that guide on how to continuously level up at the quickest rate. It originally was playing that one Baker Mayfield solo challenge where you just threw it 99 yards every single play. I do not know if that's still the best way. I'll have to do some research and figure out that and drop another video for you guys. But remember objectives, online multiplayer wins for trophies, the new series master, and 
Typically, pack odds are updated too, guys. So if you guys are pack spenders, you guys like to buy packs. Typically, those are start they're gonna be series two packs that end up dropping or some kind of updates, maybe pack odds, because as more elite players are coming out, they'll probably update the odds slightly. I don't exactly know if they'll do that in series two, but that is typically the trend of how they do this. Now, guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to give me a thumbs up, boys. Don't forget. Don't forget to do it in that order. Make sure you get those levels done right away. Trust me, the better you, the quicker you do the levels, the better it will be for you. Because if, let's say, the final pack is a free Mutt Superstar, their prices are going to die the second everyone starts getting those packs. So if you're one of the first persons to get it, like the full Legend pack, the first people to get those full Legend packs sold John Elway in those cards for like 500k. I, I was a week late. I only sold my John Elway for like 240k. Trust me, you guys do not want to wait. If you guys wait, you're going to lose a lot. You're going to lose out on a lot of coins. I understand if you guys work and stuff, but just try to get it done if you can. But that's it, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, boys. We're grinding to 9K now. Comment down below anything you think that I should have included in this video. And turn on that noti bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.